Hi, this is Stacy, and today I wanted to talk to you how you can make fresh aloe. Aloe is great because what aloe does is it's a great antioxidant and it's great for wounds as well. And also for the skin, it helps with wrinkles and it also helps with anti-aging. Today, today I have a fresh aloe and I have a empty canister. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut into the aloe. Now these aloes you could buy at natural food stores. You can get them in um, Asian stores. They have those in Oriental stores where they, they sell fresh fruits and vegetables that are Oriental and Asian. A lot of times they'll have an area where they have these um, and they sell them by the branch. They're very inexpensive. And if you see, if you squeeze on it, you'll see the aloe right here. And you can take this aloe and you can put it on your face. And as you can see, I had hit my nose and I got some bruising and uh, it's great for healing. It's great for wounds. I have a little cut here. I'm also going to put it on different ends of my face. And you could easily cut this open. I'm not gonna do it now because it takes too long, but you could peel this open. You can cut on two angles, actually. When you get these, the earlier you buy them and open them up, the better, because then they're, they're still good, but they're also more liquidy. And you can peel this open and you can actually take a fork or a knife and you can scrape in the aloe or you can cut them up in little strips like this. This is probably the easiest. If you had the aloe for a while and what you would do is you would keep them here, you would cover them and then you would take the aloe, put your finger on it and then rub it into your skin in the areas. It's great for firm in the neck. It's great for little wrinkles on your forehead crow's lines, wounds. If you have a, any type of wounds, you could put it on any part of your body. And there you go. That's how you make fresh aloe. So now I'm back in my bathroom and I'm gonna show you that I cut it up in all different strips. So just so you get a feel of it. They're all different strips and you see the aloe in there. And then you just take it with your finger and you see the aloe, you don't need a lot of it. And as I was showing you before, you would put it on your face, just like I did, or any wounded area, but make sure, I don't have the, the uh, container cover, I don't know where I put it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take aluminum foil, and I'm gonna wrap it up. And I'm gonna wrap it up like this, because the better you wrap it, the longer it will last. Because like I said, when you first get fresh aloe, it's very liquidy and you can squeeze it right out of the aloe leaf. As time goes on, it becomes firmer. It's still good to use, but then it's not as easily squeezable. So in order to keep it nice and fresh and to keep it as moist as possible, you always wanna conceal it in you know, a closed canister, a Tupperware, or you could put aluminum foil like I just did, and it, it will stay well for a very long time. And then you could use it on your face, any parts of your body. Some people actually, um, drink aloe juice and it's very healthy for your body, but that's a whole nother video. And like I said before, if you have any questions about this, about making your own aloe, leave it in the comment box and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks so much for listening.